Hey, it's Mike from DriveIdy.com, and today we're going to do this effect here where words are popping up from nowhere, like you see on a lot of videos that are online on Facebook or Instagram, where there's a video in the background and then words kind of shoot up and they go away. First thing you're going to do is open up a new After Effects project, and you're going to hit Command N or Control N. Command N if you're on a PC or on a Mac, Control N if you're on a PC. I'm going to do 1080 by 1080, make the frame rate 30, uh, make it about a minute, that's fine. You can just pause this and copy these if you'd like to. And now I'm going to jump into it. Real simple, just grab your text, your um, your type tool right here, and you're going to hit, you know, we're going to type in text. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit here, and I'm going to center it, and maybe not there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I am going to duplicate it though. So the way you do that is if you are selected down here, you hit uh, Command D or Control D, and then uh, Command T, uh, text, text two. We're going to make it duplicate too. So what we're going to do is just draw some masks above this and then have them hide. So we're going to grab the shape tool right here, make sure it's a rectangle, make sure that there's a fill, make sure there's no stroke. You can just if there is one, you can just bring it down by just hovering over the numbers and dragging it left. And I'm going to draw a box above the text like this, and I'm going to hit that the select tool and select on the, on the comp. Now, just doing that because if I went to draw another one and it was still selected, it would create the shape inside of this, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to delete that, or I'm going to hit Shift Command A. That's another way to do it. Hit Q if you want to get the shape, and I'm going to draw another one. I'm going to draw it right here. And I'm going to hit Shift Command A to deselect it. Now we've got our mass and we've got our text, and now we just got to find out which is covering what. And so I'm guessing that two is covering this one and one is covering the first one. Let's see. There's the ones. Yeah, you can see it because it'll select it behind it. There's a bounding box behind it. And if I highlight on that, it's Shape Layer 1 text. So I'm going to just name this real quick Masker 1. And I'm going to do the same thing here Masker 2. I just hit Return. And that was my way of um, renaming this. All we got to do right now is select one of the text layers, hold down Command or Control if you're on a PC, Command if you're on a Mac, and I'm going to hit right here this little box for masks. If you don't see it, it's probably because it's turned off here by one of these buttons. So just turn them on, and you'll see this track mat. And just got to select one of them if they're both selected and hit Alpha Masker. And that means that anything behind this box is just going to show within the box. So if I take the text, if I move it outside of it, you could see that if it's anything in the box, you could see the type outside of it, you won't be able to. And that's pretty much it for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Masker, Masker 2. I'm going to hit uh, Command L to lock it. And so now if I hit Command A, I can select all of these. And I can hit a, put a keyframe in, so Option P to put my first keyframe. And then I'm going to take it less than a second and I'm going to hit option P again. Now I've hit I, it's going to go right back to the beginning of this layer and I'm going to drag these points and on this comp I'm just going to drag them down. So now they're hidden and if I close my work area, hit command control one, you'll see that the text is now rising in, which is that effect. Now it's looping because the workspace, the work area is closed off. And if I wanted to, maybe after three, eh, like two and a half seconds, if I wanted to go back down, I can just easily um, select both and hit Command P, or Option P, my bad, and then hit Option P again here, and I can just hold down Shift and then the down arrow and just bring them down so they're hidden. If I hit Option or Control, Control Zero, you'll see that it's up and then it's going to go down. So if it's up and it's going to eventually go down. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you hit the graph tool, it'll give it a little bit more life. So I can just kind of drag over these points, hit this section right here. You'll see that's going to take a, a little bit different approach when it's coming in because it's speeding up. And there we go. Let's go. It's like going to speed down. It's going to speed up. There we go. Actually, let me zoom out a little bit. Make sure that all these points are selected. There we go. All right, cool. I'll turn that off. This is great to do if you have a video in the background that you want to have text pop up over it. Um, 
and then yeah and then you can just um, pump this out as a video and upload it to Instagram Facebook and there you've got your video so if you have any questions you can just comment in the description of the comment section wherever this video is posted you can also email me at mike at drive80.com let me just bring this in the middle let me delete all this other crap do 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 do, do. and yeah so there we go bring it down cool yeah so just email me mike at drive80.com if you have any questions and if um if you have any videos that you see online that are pretty basic you can just email and say hey man how do you do this and i will make a video about it and i'll post it on youtube and i'll tag you and tell people like hey this is blah 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 from blah 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 company name this is what they wanted me to do here they are and maybe you should go buy their stuff but yeah and if you don't want to do any of this stuff yourself you want to hire me to do it or my company to create an explainer video of your company or just do some animation you can email me at mike drive as well or check out drive to see other um just see the examples of the things that we do all right